<laughs> oh, that's hot. That's hot. Hello pilots if you are in here, and listen to this that's mean you want to know how many Mustangs we have in a game already. Let's do the count we have two Mustangs from 5 o'clocks. Little Chinese hands have another one. And we go to Big American Family. Tier 6, Tier 7 and Tier 8. And finally we have two Americans double hot dogs, with cool name. P82B, and F82E. Sounds like Jet Fighter but this is still old good Mustang. And that's why Wargaming, decide to give us another Mustang. P51D Josephine. Is tier 7 light fighter in McDonald's tech tree? Nobody needed or wanted, but Wargaming knows better. And there we have exact copy of the P51D which we have in a tech tree. Obviously Chinese copy everything so there must be a Mustang somewhere in China too. So on tier 7 we will have 3 Mustangs soon. Sounds great, yeah. I'm appreciate of the initiative, to on a historic event like in this case it's really really good. Just few small problems from top of my head. Number 1 what's the point of doing hard mission or possibly buying certificates, to get the plane which we literally have in the game already completely for free with exactly the same parameters. Sounds like good question to me. But I have better one. Ladies and gentlemen in wargaming. Another thing is Ellis Clark. You know what am I talking about. This imagination super pilot which you added to the game while ago, lots of players, have this. In case you guys forgot I wanted to remind you, that you give her a fucking superpowers which work only on P51D which we have in the game tech tree. Totally free for fuck's sake. And thanks to them BP51D will be always better than any other Mustang on tier 7. I'm trying not to be completely negative, so I come up with good solution. Okay. So guys quite often you did add to the game planes which exist only on the toilet paper. So I'm just thinking. Why wouldn't you change the parameters of these new plane just a little, to make a difference make it funny. Yeah. Like this Italian pizza delivery plane. In wargaming have to work some ex-comedian a very good joker you know. To change the parameters of the plane which is still. In ongoing event I'm sure that people who decide not to do it, because plane is too weak are now very happy, that you upgrade parameters, but didn't giving extra time for its grinding. But okay let's try to be positive. I believe in you dear wargame Minsk. We will wait, until you make these changes, maybe the new Italian fighter will become really good, and with such an improvement in speed you will be able to safely use build for maneuverability. Maybe you won't screw up the clan badge this time. Maybe I'll do a new review, in which I will not squeeze you like a rag. Maybe maybe or maybe not. Okay, I think I'm going to finish now, because I'm starting to get pissed off every time I think, that I'll have to play another junk on tier 7 up against overpowered tier 8. So it better not happen again, because for the next monitor, that I will throw out the window, I will send you a bill. Thank you for watching. If you like it give your paw up, and see you in the next episode about how to play the most difficult class in the game multi-role planes coming. Take care pilots.